Hello, everybody, and welcome to this episode of The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth, plus with the Australian Slow Wolf. All right, so I understand what happened last time with Napoleon. We're not going to do it again. So I did a little bit of research just to find out what the Void does, and I was partially correct. What you eat does matter. If you eat a passive item, you get a random passive stat boost, which is, you know, pretty sweet. If you eat an active item, you, you add that active item to the Void. So you get, uh, for instance, if you had Yum Heart and you ate that, every time you used Void, you get Yum Heart's effect. If you add the D6 to that effect, you start getting the D6 on top of that every time that you used uh, the Void as well. So the Void is effectively an item that eats the other items to become that item. It's the Mega Man item. And that's actually really, really sick. Uh, and there's a lot of cool synergies you can do with that that I'm looking forward to trying to see if I can't use. But what killed us on the last run was that I ate Kamikaze. Uh, we ended up picking up an item that kills you when you use a go figure, and then every time I used the void, I exploded. And I was very confused as to why. I was thinking, oh, well, it's because I ate glitter bombs. No, not the case. Glitter bombs being a passive item should not have, uh, done anything to us on its own. But, um, what does is getting caught in a situation where, uh, you end up eating kamikaze, and then, you know, as a result, every time you push the space bar, you kamikaze as well. So, in this time... Then on this run, I want to see if I can't, with that knowledge, use that to my best advantage. See if I can't find, um, you know, a way to really make good use of that. Now, obviously, the King of Space Bar items all still apply. So you've got, like, Satanic Bible or something like that. Perfect. Absolutely. You can eat that, add it to the Void, make it very powerful as far as Space Bar items go. And it's got the same charge as Satanic Bible as well. So it's well worth, uh, well worth your time to make sure that you've got going on. You know, like that that seems like a very smart idea to eat stuff like Satanic Bible or other repeatable items that are very, very good. Uh, that's gonna be our plan. We're gonna make sure now that we, since we know what the Void does, to not eat shitty items. Um, specifically. Like, we're gonna wanna eat shitty passive items, because passive items just give you a random stat boost and that's okay. Like, that's, that's totally fine. Um, and like, it'll do the trick. What we don't wanna do- Ah, oh, God! Fucking shit, man. I thought I had a little bit more time. Apparently not. Uh, that red heart that we found earlier, wherever it is, is going to be very helpful all of a sudden. <laughs> uh, we also still haven't found our item room, it feels like. Has, any has anyone else seen it? I haven't seen it yet. Uh, there's a red heart. We went to the right. We went to the right again, if I remember correctly. And there is another red heart here, so that's good. Then we went up, and it was this. Good stuff. We can actually get to this now. Um, let's try that here. It was our secret room. Our golden chest contains... Oh, fucking troll. And some red hearts and a key. So that worked out to be okay. Secret room contains a shit ton of money. Good. We need a lot of money. Um, the other thing that I realized that we ate that would have been helping us a lot with uh, using the void was the uh, garbage disposal. We were eating up consumables as well. So, you know... Double whammy right there. We're gonna go ahead and blow this up. Gives us a key and a spirit heart. I'm gonna save the spirit heart for a second. Uh, try to save that for the next fucking... Damn it. It was a mimic. They've added mimics to the game as well, if you hadn't noticed. And they give shit items. Um, second secret room will not necessarily be here. So, that's not worth looking into. Shop contains... Detonator. Uh, we could eat the detonator. Potentially, which would be... Fun? I mean, it'll give us five bombs, and then every time we use it, we'll... I mean, it's a stat up, I guess, right? I mean, it's not a stat up, because it's an active item. Um, do we want to pay 15 cents for five bombs? Yeah, that's economic, really, so we should. Um, save the rest of our money for, um... For that spirit heart, maybe? Uh... Do we trust ourselves on this first boss? I'm not sure. You know what? I, I don't really trust ourselves. I'm gonna go here, at least pick up this one spirit heart to be safe. Have we still seen our item room yet? Like, I haven't picked up any items, have I? No, I haven't. Uh, let's use one bomb here. Give us the half red heart that we need, and... Oh, that's another fucking mimic, man! How are you supposed to know? Okay. Down here, maybe. No, we explored that. It's not there. Cursed room is up here. And we have this room off. Okay, here's our item room. Okay, it took us forever, but we found it. Thank fuck. Um, 
If it's a, an active item, depending, we might eat it. We might just remove it from the pool either way. Let's see what we got going on here. It's Fart Baby. I think we just eat that, don't we? Yeah, and that gave us a minus tier delay and a shot speed increase. Worth it. Now, the other thing I learned on the last run is that your shot speed, your uh, tier delay can only go down to a 5 uh, before you need something like Cancer to really make it tick. So if we see other passive stat increase items and such, then uh, we're going to have to keep in mind uh, that uh, it could be bad for us. Okay, so this is just... A Larry Jr. fight. It's a Larry Jr. plus fight, honestly, but uh, it should be fine. Just, we have we have an increased uh, tier rate, which is nice. Um, not something that, ooh, hoo, hoo. not something that's necessarily easy to come by earlier on. It does increase your damage by at least a little bit, makes things a little bit easier for these kinds of fights. And so far, that seems to be the case. We're having a reasonable time here against Larry Jr. He's dead now. He gave us a spirit heart, and we are gonna. Oh, fuck you! Uh, do I want to range up? The answer is probably not, so I'm going to eat that as well. That gave us a speed increase and a luck up. I, I'm actually very pleased with that. Uh, grab this spirit heart here, and then let's get a move on. Five minutes for the first floor, but that took forever because it was a reasonably large floor, and... Well, there's Curse of the Lost as well, so... Uh, this time, neither of those things are true. We have Curse of Darkness, but that's about it. And you know what? On the, on the basement, we can handle that. Basement... Curse of Darkness is not so bad. It's not the best, but it's not as bad as when there's like a black floor with black enemies and... Look, that sounded bad for a second. Don't let that, uh, don't, don't, don't take that out of context, please. All I'm saying is that when colors don't contrast, it becomes very difficult to see things. That's all I'm saying, okay? Now let's go over to the left. Uh, it's a spawner. This is my worst nightmare. Every time, I, I wake up in cold sweat now thinking about fucking spawners. I don't actually. I haven't. I haven't had the chance to sleep since playing this. Really, uh, I'm still recording this the day of me leaving Canada. I'm just making sure that I've got enough content on here that by the time I uh, get, you know, get back to recording, I'm not horribly jet lagged. But yeah, this is a uh, this is an interesting situation, isn't it? Okay. We haven't like honestly like <laughs> warp gates are are just terrifying to me. And when I say that I'm gonna wake up in cold sweat, probably not. I don't tend to be that uh. Kind of person. I mean, I, I the last time I had vivid nightmares was when I was like ten or so. Uh, I don't really remember my dreams since. I everybody dreams. I think that's a given. Um, every single human being does go through REM cycles and has dreams of some kind. It's just I tend not to remember mine. Now, Pupilla Duplex is a passive I like a lot actually. Um, I'm inclined to take this just so that way we've got a wide shot that goes over rocks. It's it's nice to have. Now, our shop could be very helpful here. Chaos and there's options. Both of these are wonderful ideas. Um, I'm going to go ahead. Yeah, that was good. Very good payout. Ooh, don't take that, thank you. Alright, if we're good, this bomb should do what we need it to do. It did not. I've been betrayed. Let's do one more bomb. So what are we going to do here? Chaos or there's options? Well... There's options gives us a better chance of getting items that we want. Chaos gives us a better chance of having really weird fucking run. Uh, I'm gonna go with there's options in this particular case because I'd like to see if the boss item ruin pool has uh, has changed at all since um, since Afterbirth Plus has been released. Oh please no. Oh come on. Bad bad timing honestly. Please. I'm keeping an eye on everything behind me in an attempt to just kill this fucking spawner, which spawns things so fucking fast. God, that took forever to kill. Okay, it's dead. We, we kept our spirit hearts intact. Woo! And there's a tinted rock in the corner. Beautiful. Two spirit hearts later, I'm feeling really confident. Let's do this. Little horn. Oh, baby, you don't even know. I mean, you might be, a, you know, a, a black champion version of him, but how could that... Po okay, super speed tears. That's how that one works. And directly at me. Okay, so the yellow champion version... Shoots super speed hyper bombs and uh, shoots them directly at you. Whereas this one just shoots tears. So if you don't, if you don't like shooting the tears, by the way, this is gonna be a shitty fucking boss to have to deal with. Now one thing you can try to do is ignore the tears, but at a certain point they will box you in. So like, it's best to shoot them when you get the chance, huh? Okay. Thank you, Pupula du Duplex, by the way, for compensating for my shitty aim. I really do appreciate it. Come on, you're almost done. There we go. 
And we dodged it. Eat shit, Sherlock. All right, we could pick up Crack Jacks. Uh, let's see what we can do in here first. Krampus, fuck. Um, if he drops Krampus' head, we eat it. If he drops Lump of Coal, my fuck you. If he drops Lump of Coal, he's just shooting in crosses. I don't understand. Okay, he shoots in pluses as well. Good, good to know. But if he drops uh, head of Krampus, we eat it. Lump of coal, we take it. Okay, we're gonna take this then. Now, do we want a passive stat increase or do we want HP? Um, what happens if we eat both of them? Oh, that gave us two stat increases! <laughs> oh, there's options was the correct choice, baby. The absolutely correct choice. <laughs> Gave us two items to eat things with. That's beautiful. All right, so we have a pretty high deal with the angel chance now. Based off of our... Oh, God! Fuck, these rooms are tiny. Who invented these tiny rooms? Okay. Still managed to make it through without taking too much more damage than we had to, which is unfortunate. But we the breaks, I guess. Uh, it is time for you to die, Dippler. Why did I... You know what? That's a really good name. Dippler. Can we... Can someone invent a boss now that there's mods for this called Dippler? Dippler the Damned? He's just like a super dingle. But all he does is non-damaging attacks. So it's kind of like a freebie boss. You're like happy to see him. It's like, oh god, it's Dippler. I'm so happy. He appears on like... The womb. He's just like, yeah, hi, my name's the Dippler. Nobody messes with the Dippler. Three dollar bill. Um, reasonable passive. I think we'll take it. Uh, it's one of those B-plus items that I quite like, honestly. Okay, we got homing tiers for this round, which is really solid. It's an XL floor, so we got both of our item rooms really close to each other, which is, again, real sweet. Um, and in here we find a glass of milk. I'm kind of tempted to eat that one, uh, to be honest with you. But the, the true power, I feel, of, um... Oh, God. Three three dollar bill. You're gonna be really fucky, aren't you? Uh, oh my... No, Jesus! Stone man, stone man, stone man's the worst. You know what? I think we're gonna pick up milk, or do we eat it? You know we got enough room on this floor. Let's eat it. Um, good. Overall, our stats are just constantly fucking shifting. It's a little like there's just numbers, numbers fucking everywhere. Um. But yeah, what we want to do is find some of those really good passive items. Something like the D6, Satanic Bible, uh... Heck, even Book of Sin, I'd be really happy to just have a quick munch on. Just for the sake of saying, hey, I ate this, so now whenever I use Void, I actually get a chance out of it. Now, we are going to go ahead and back off for a second. And grab the charge that we want and need out of Void, uh, for the boss fight room. Because if we can manage... If we don't like either boss item like we did last time, eating both of them for a stat increase seems just really good. Boom. Okay. Shit. Tanky people hiding behind other people is... Uh, sorry, hiding behind tanky people is not a strategy that this game should be allowed to employ. <laughs> At all. Please stop. Thank you. Okay. Two charges off of Void. Oh god, the one spawns creep. You have to be careful about it. Jesus. Okay, here's our shop. Do we have anything for a shop? Potentially. Uh, Mom's key is very interesting. I think what we're going to do, though, is buy the spirit heart and donate five cents. It's not necessarily the correct decision. But we've been mean to our, to our donation machine. I would like to build it back up uh, to a reasonably healthy level. Like about 600, 500 or so over the course of the series. That would be very nice. But, um, you know, with no guarantees. Alright, we've already seen both of our item rooms, so it's actually just worth our time to get the fuck out of here as fast as- Oh, well, can you please give me that for the boss fight? That'd be great. Three dollar bill. Very strange item. It's- it's making the fucking- Oh, Tinted Rock. Didn't see that the first time. Sweet. It's making everything go wild. Pestilence on a tiny room. Round whatever this is. That was a Hail Mary of a shot. I'm just going to say that right now. That is not a shot I like. Uh, cube of meat and a uh, tear delay that we already don't need. I mean, cube of meat's all right here. Um, let's hold off on that for now. I may be playing this a little bit too cute, and I should probably just pick up the cube of meat and call it a day, because cube of meat's a defensive item as well as a reasonable offensive item in the right circumstances. Which, let's be honest, the right circumstances are pretty much, you know, anytime I'm playing. Uh, 
Dog food. And, yeah, this is even worse. I think that we take the cube of meat and we eat these two. That seems that seems correct. All right. So let's see. We got a shot speed up, a luck increase. And on this side, we're going to go ahead and pick up the cube of meat because the tier reduction delay will do absolutely nothing for us. All right. I think we played well on that floor. I think that kind of showed off that we understand sort of what's going on. Oh my god, the fucking numbers. Oh god. There's just too many worms. What is this? The womb? Did anyone else hear that fucking creepy ass sound? <laughs> These guys. Okay, there we go. They all died. It took like 1700 years, but we did it. Um, again, Curse of Darkness? Yeah, apparently that's, you know, our curse to bear here. Is the curse of being stuck in a room full of, you know, horribleness. And we can't see where we're fucking going. Now, the thing is, these enemies don't seem all that tough. Uh, they don't do too much. And especially if you have piercing, it's like, okay, sweet, I don't mind. Thank you, Firemind, by the way, for lighting shit on fire. Even if it all goddamn explodes in your face like that on occasion. Uh, it made that room a lot easier than it had any right to be. Okay. Cube of meat. Obviously a wise decision now. Um... I've got to assume that... That, that, was, that if that had been a secret room, we would have heard it go off. Oh, fuck. That was dumb. Um... There we go. Please. Okay, next up, you. Thank you. But yeah, this this should be fine. Just stop walking on spikes and tilting. Like that, that was dumb. Good. Now this guy. He's done as well. Perfect. Two of diamonds. Uh, useless now. Would have been helpful a long time ago when we had, you know, money and stuff. Uh, thank you, Death Touch, for being amazing. We now have our shit back together again. All right, I'm looking for a good active item here, baby. I'm looking for uh, Book of Revelations. I'm looking for Book, uh, you know, Satanic Bible. Uh, I get Doctor's Remote. Okay. Well, Doctor's Remote is probably still worth, you know, eating. I think. So now we've got access to it. Um, sweet. I mean, it's a six-charge Doctor's Remote, but like, we're gonna, we're, like, we'll, we'll work with it, right? We'll make it happen somehow. It's more it's more worthwhile to eat it than to not, I feel. Like it's a dangerous item, for sure. Shit. Uh, this room can suck several dongs. This is not a new one, I don't think. I think I've seen it before, but it's still a real shitty room. Uh, in here we find a seven cent wooden nickel and a dude to explode. Alright, well, I'm gonna explode the dude. Okay, one nickel, not gonna help us out too much. Um So what I'm gonna do instead is to pop two diamonds and donate. Holy shit, we're actually donating money. What a, what a time to be alive. Guys, we've done it. Uh, we've also donated enough that our angel chance is up to 75%. So donating increases your angel room chance. Good to know. Uh, and by a reasonable amount as well. No, we can't play that. We'll lose our eternal. Okay, they all like insta died, which is pretty sweet. Um, we got uh, 2020 and number one for this room, which fills me with. All kinds of feelings of safety and loving and caring family. Uh, da -da 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 bomb. Please blow up. Along with giving me a spirit heart. I really appreciate it. Wonderful. And how are you doing? Oh, you're, you've got mirror. you got mirror version. Okay. Well, that, that's... You know, it does not matter. You're still dead. But hey, you know, it was good to know while it lasted. What's in here? Fucking stuff. Okay. Well, it's not difficult stuff, so at least there's that. Oh, oh my god. If we almost pushed that into us, that would have been bad. So the boss fight's right here. Uh, this is Depths... Dank, dank Depths 1. We're a floor behind like usual. What the fuck is this? What is this? Heroes of the Storm? Oh my god! They do team up attacks? I find this difficult to stomach. Oh my god, they attack super fast too. I do not like this. No, I do not. Please take out one of these jerks. I mean, I'm glad that I'm safe right here. While this guy does whatever he's doing. Please. Yeah, I'll just hide in the corner. Don't mind me, okay? Like, don't don't come near me. <laughs> the fuck is this gimpy-ass bullshit? Like, he's got gimpy on him. He's, like, fucking really fast. He's like a weird, shitty gauge. And I mean shitty in the sense that he's actually just a jerk. Oh my god, he's got a brimstone that has next to no wind-up time. This is... If it wasn't for this fucking rock, this rock, 
sweet Christmas. We would have been so dead. All right. Uh, in this particular case, I think it's worth picking up the latch key. Let's see what's in our deal with the angel here. Five spirit hearts. Holy bullshit, dog. Um, might as well blow him up. He's going to do something for us, maybe, at least. I mean, we could eat the key piece, right? Is that a thing we can do? Because if we can eat the key piece... See how cool that is? Okay, we just got hit there, which is bad. Okay, we got hit there too, which is also bad. Okay, good dodge. Good dodge. Okay, now keep it up. Just keep attacking him. Don't get hit. Use $3 bill to its most effectiveness if you can. Keep an eye on those stats as they ch- oh, fuck you. Keep an eye on the stats as they change. Uh, consume the passive for an extra luck increase. Uh, oh, right, we could have used the doctor's remote there. Uh, and get the other luck increase as well. We've got an incredible amount of luck now. Four is a lot. Uh, we should be seeing a ton of consumables, lots of hearts. I'm expecting to get carried at this point. Jesus Christ, the pixelated intros, outros, all that stuff. Oh, Jesus. Um, you know, throwing me for loop here, for sure. Alright, this is a room I can get by. See, this is a room I understand that feels fair and safe. This one is not... <laughs> Alright, who'd who be, who be over there? Uh, it's this guy. He's not so bad. There we go. Pick up the bomb. I gotta wonder, is this a secret room right here already? It is! Holy shit, it's like our first secret room of the year. Uh, it's a reroll pedestal here of all places. If this turns into Head of Greed, then like maybe, but nah, it did not happen. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we do have Angel Room precedent, which doesn't do us too much, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, that reroll machine does nothing. Okay, moving forward. Very strange, but that's okay. We live off of strange here at uh, Slow Wolf HQ. It's our bread and butter. I mean, why else do you think that we uh, work in a school? Oh, Jesus Christ, okay. Oh, you dick. Bruh. Yeah! <laughs> the kick of the century. Stay away from your own shots here. Like, you, you have fire mine for the room? Just don't even try to shoot close to you. Okay. Is that tech? I think that's tech. Um, I kind of want it. I kind of want it. It's it's damage downgrade though. I mean, you know what? Fuck it. Let's reroll it. See what happens. I probably should have taken it. Daddy Long Legs is actually better. We're good. We rerolled it. I'm into something that I'm happy here. Let's do this. Uh, okay. Thanks, Curse of the Maze. I appreciate it. You son of a bitch. So Apollyon is doing well this round i think that uh, knowledge that eating kamikaze is a bad idea is is important to keep in mind you're not going to want to eat with curse of the blind either is another thing i'm i'm fuck you really oh you salty son of a dong all right well there goes our last bond to just make sure that we get to this fucking room one day in our damn lives all right well there's four keys there if we can get like two bombs for it but it's not necessarily all that worth it um Keep focusing on dodging, and you'll get there eventually. Well, that's, uh, that's the shadow for Daddy Longlegs. Don't don't be confused. Okay, nickel here, totally fine. I don't mind a nickel at all. Who could possibly mind a nickel like Maria? Who could possibly mind a nickel like Maria? Ooh, another eternal heart. I'll take that. A little bit of red heart HP does not make me a salty man. I mean, yeah, we're. A little high on it, to be honest with you, but I am not a good player. So a lot of the time, it's nice to have that extra buffer of HP. Um, going left will do nothing for us. Let's go to the right, then. Okay, settle back over here, so that way, as soon as they try to charge at you, they run into spikes instead, and everything's dead instead. Perfect! Oh my god! I... Mimics? I... It's shitty idea. This game's already full of shitty things. You don't need to make the chests a fucking risk to pick up. Like, come on. Come on. Come on. Do, 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 do they need to attack you when you touch them? There's not much of a... Like, I, I'm fucking suspicious. <laughs> Maybe it took me too long to be suspicious, but, you know, I'm suspicious now. This is a thing. Okay, we have an increase to our shot speed. I guess that helps do something. Uh, pill here, we don't know. Infested. That's a good one. Doesn't do much for us, but it's a good one. Uh, shop? Yeah. Get a win. 
Um. I'll let it slide. If there's one thing I would like to do is pick up the 9 volt. But uh, we haven't really needed to use it lately, so. Okay, we got a battery on the floor there, which means if we... Oh, wait, we're not going to be able to get anything off of this because it's mom. Okay. Good stuff. Gotta remember, I got Cuban meat. Use it on this fight. Especially against her goddamn foot. Like, I really want to be good at using my orbital as a person. These orbitals are pretty sweet in terms of damage. Like, they do a lot of good damage output if you know what you're doing with them. I've seen Northern Lion play it enough with, like, cubes of meat and such. Yeah, he gets himself into fucking sticky situations as a result of playing like an idiot and using it too aggressively. But, man, if it isn't cool to see. Um, yeah, we're going to take the Polaroid because the Polaroid's still smart. I'd still like to knock out Blue Baby as an option. And as soon as we've knocked out Blue Baby, then we'll start doing dark run, uh, dark room runs with this guy. Okay, gotta remember. Oh god, I will pop this immediately, just to do that. That 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 seemed like a worthwhile use of a of of the void. <laughs> Sad as that is to say. Please, any day. Un de ces jours, tu vas apparaître. Tu vas me dire que tu m'aimes. Doesn't actually exist as a song, by the way, but it sounds like a French song, doesn't it? I fucking tricked you. Okay, we're already at full HP. Gotta remember that. We're in actually a really good spot HP-wise for the... For it feels like... <sighs> for it feels like a, the first time in a little bit, like, I am not worried about my HP. I shouldn't have been worried about my HP all run, pretty much. Like, we've been doing fine. But it's worth mentioning that I, uh... This does not tend to happen. At least has not had this has not been a habit with uh, this new release yet. Like the, this new release has kind of made me feel very skittish about my HP, about my skill in general. Like the first two runs, kind of shook me to my core. I don't think it's necessarily my fault that that. Oh, gotta try it. Uh, so At least we can handle fistula real easily, thanks to Daddy Long Legs. We got tons of spirit hearts on the ground, which is great. Okay. Take it easy, relax, shoot this guy in the dong. Does Loki, little Loki have a dong? I don't think he's got a dong. One thing I'm really looking forward to with this game, by the way, I, as much as I feel like shit now, I'm only going to feel like shit later when they come up with uh, Anti-Birth inside uh, Afterbirth Plus. Once they do that, though, I'm going to be all over that. It's going to be that lemon party. Are you a wizard? Quality cards right there. Um... It's wise to not move forward at this point, but I'm going to do it anyway because I'm a flipping maroon. And we still managed to survive. Okay, cool. What's this one? I'm excited. I'm excited. Did anyone else see what that did stats-wise? I did not. I'm excited seems to have done nothing. <laughs> there's addicted. There's I'm excited now. Ooh, ooh. Wah. Yeah, there we go. Oh, we did it. We dodged through the fire and the spikes. Okay, a couple of techies. Took care, it took care of them. That was nice. Two key room. It's a five. I don't want to redo this room. It, like this, this floor does not seem like it needs redoing. Teratoma. Okay, this would have been a good time to have fire mind or something along those lines for the AOE explosions and other things. As I say it, we get it. Um, we'll think about that. We might get something better here. It's not better actually it's just a million times worse i don't even want to spend hp on it honestly uh the box is relatively useless to us roid rage is a stat upgrade increase for speed and shot speed i think on a regular basis um i'd rather just eat both and i did it gave us a speed it gave us a shot speed it gave us a what oh fright fuck gotta remember <laughs> it's got doctor's remote attached to it i keep fucking forgetting it's got Doctor's Remote attached to the goddamn thing. Our stats, by the way, are fucking ludicrous to look at. They are absolutely 100% insane. Um, overall, like, if I had a Libra right now, we would, we'd be killing shit. Oh, good. Just just hope. Pray that they don't come too close. And if they do, use your Cupid Mate to save you. Oh, my God. The strategy's working. We're playing fucking whatever that game is where you shoot caterpillars from space. We've done it. Which one is that one? It's not Space Invaders. That's, uh, that's a different one entirely, but... Sure, which one am I talking about? 
I'm very confused about which game I'm, I'm thinking of. I know the name of it. Don't even fucking start with me. Don't even fucking start. I know exactly what game it is. I just forgotten the name, okay? Like, don't, don't, stop looking at me like that. I don't need that kind of patronizing shit, okay? I mean, fuck. What's this guy gonna, oh, Skatoli, please. Oh, come on, I got five luck increases. Just give me Skatoli. Yeah, two keys is cool. Two keys is fine. I'll take up the missing page as well, because you might as well. Flies, yeah, that's, that's great. I love it. Uh, you gonna give me money with the money that I've given you? Yeah, I didn't think you would. I don't know why I'm playing this guy, to be honest with you. I just felt like taking it on a lark. I'm pretty close to just bombing him, but... Yeah, I'm starting to think that it might not be a bad idea. Why do I want Skatoli so bad? Oh, that's a silver heart. Worth it. So far, it's been worth it. 100% okay, worth it. Oh, and a bunch more money. It's a heart. Maybe more spirit hearts? No. We probably could have played our blood link after all. Uh, for what? To what end, though? I don't know. Okay, a bunch of keys, spirit hearts, a luck up again. Okay, I've got another luck up. Try me. That does nothing for us, unfortunately. Okay, flies are useless. And that's Godoli. Well, I guess you're gonna die then. Thanks for all the, you know, fun that you gave us here today. At the same time, fuck you. Okay, let's leave. Um, avoid the radioactive poop. Head on downstairs. We got a couple of four shotters, four spitters, quad spitters, quad quad lasers is what I should call them. Oh fuck! Right, these guys don't like being shot at. They're like vanilla Isaac. Uh, figured that one out for myself actually. Um, okay, we do not have the garbage disposal item like we did last run, where every time that we used void, we seem to come up with. Freaking uh, flies all the time. I was very confused about that before. Now I understand how the item works. There we go. He's dead. Uh, and as a result, there's probably some really crazy combinations you can get with this. Uh, I'd imagine that, honestly, Polion is going to be a really fun character, I think, for a lot of people who've played the game for a while. Where it's just like, man, if only I could have these two spacebar items together. Well,. You know, your wish is my command. Imagine if you get the, uh, if Spark Plug was an active item. That'd be pretty sweet. Not gonna happen, but imagine if it was. I'll, I'll pay one heart overall to get in here, spend it on two of these, come back out, get another Spirit Heart. That was more or less useless. But I figured, you know what? We add HP. Let's use it to our best advantage. Head to the right, maybe? Okay, this seems to be a more correct direction than what maybe I'd initially had assumed, which is good. It's good. I want to be going the correct direction in this particular case. Do, do we have the left hand? I don't think we've got the left hand. Okay, he died. What I would give for 2020 just all the time right now. That would be pretty sweet. You know, one of the best damage upgrades in the game. Like, God, what a... What a like, what, why, why, why would I want that? Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Okay, shit, that's a lot. Too, what the fuck was that? Those flies, like... We're ringing out in such a way that I was not prepared, nor was I, like, ready to even give half a shit about it. Uh, yeah, I'll bomb this. Get, uh, some spirit heart potential out of it, and you know what? Fuck you. I played against- I played your brother? Your brother sucked. Alright, so we've got three spirit hearts sitting on this room. If we take a lot of stupid fucking damage, we've got ourselves covered. I smell stupid fucking damage incoming. No? Good. Alright, let's leave. Uh, what's in this room? Not a fucking portal, which is a nice change of pace. Portals should be goddamn rare. Like, very rare. Very rare. I'm very glad that so far that seems to be the case. Okay, so watch battery, I think, is like... Increased chance for batteries... Um... I think? I don't remember anymore. You do. Full health? That's pretty cool. One makes you larger? Not so cool. I think I'll leave you alone. Oh, and there's a freaking golden poop here, huh? Oh, I mean, like, don't get me wrong, I appreciate the gift, but, like... It's, uh, and I know it's the thought that counts, guys, but this is more or less useless. Um, and with counterfeit penny, no less. It, like, counterfeit penny? Really? Is that the best you can do? Um, let's grab this. Perfect. Put these guys out. Now, $3 bill is making it so that way I'm not exactly sure what items do what on a regular basis, which is a little disappointing and scary. Um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and bomb this as well. Not a mimic, which is nice. We haven't taken any damage yet. We're up to a 7 lockup. We're... We have to be getting reasonable number of chests on the chest. That that just has to happen. If it doesn't happen, I'll be very disappointed. Shit. Come on. 
There we go. Oh, that was bad damage to take. Now, the good news is we have a ton of freaking spirit hearts on the floor. We just need to actually get them. Now, focus on dodging. You're doing fine. Keep your focus up. There you go. There you go. Easy fight. We're doing a lot better on these mom fights lately, I've got to say. I'm really pleased with our performance on them so far. Okay, we only need the one spirit heart, so that's fine. Drop this for a chance at the second secret room, which... Are you sure it isn't there? Yeah, they're sure. Okay. Well, let's leave. We're going up. And this time, we're going to beat Blue Baby, goddammit. We got a ton of HP. We might not have the best damage on the planet, but this time we're not going to use Kamikaze twice in a row. <laughs> for no reason. Oh, shit. Well, we are going to take some damage on this room. I think that that's worth a say or two. The good news is that that's all we took was one hit. So, two hits. So, we only lost one HP on that, which is bad, but it could have been worse, could have been worse, could have been worse. All right, take him out. Who's next? Who's next? Hey! It's war! And look, this time he died really, really fast and easily. Don't you love it when that happens? I do. Oh, God. These guys spawn bosses, by the way. I'm not looking forward to the time when on this floor they start spawning haunts. Like, all the warp gates do is spawn, like, any enemy that would appear on that floor. Which, admittedly, I think is a little bullshit. Because <laughs> there's some enemies that are, like, specifically tuned not to pop up more than, like, once. Um, at this point, we've got pretty much all the stats that we need, so we're just kind of saving Napoleon's void for, uh, big spacebar items. You know, like Satanic Bible, da -da 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 -da, that kind of thing. The great news is that about stuff like Satanic Bible or what else have you, um, is that you can use them twice, effectively. Because you can use them once when you take them out of the pool by picking them up, and then another time when uh, you use Void on them. Okay. Speed down. It's pretty bad. Down. Friends to the end? Pretty good. Uh, strength card here is fine. We got three Spirit Hearts on the ground in there, worth keeping in mind. Uh, I get the feeling we're gonna need to, because I'm not good at this game. Okay, so far, not the worst, though. We've at least managed to unlock some things on Napoleon's first run, so I'm not mad. But, like, the, the fact that I didn't get Blue Baby last time still has me a bit salty. This is definitely a revenge run. See what I mean? Spawns bosses. It's kind of bullshit. I don't care... If, like, if you're in a tricky situation, that thing spawning the haunt would have actually, like, ended your run. Straight up. You wouldn't have had a goddamn chance. And why? Man, decided that this haunt was, like, a fucking regular-ass normal person. The reason why you've got one boss per room at this point is because you can handle one boss per room, not, like, two haunts. Imagine if a fucking second haunt showed up out of one of those warp things. It's theoretically possible. And that fucking frightens the shit out of me. That was my phone. It just went off. I think that's Facebook talking to me. I don't know why. I'm not popular or important. No one likes me. That's not necessarily true. But at the same time, let me have my self-depreciation, okay? That's all I've got left in this world. It's not true. But by the time you guys are listening to this, I'll be back in England and my family will be hundreds of kilometers away and... Yeah, you know, that's 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 fun. Um, try for a secret room? Oh, it worked. They gave us a battery. Oh, oh boy. Okay, this we have to take. I will spend a decent amount of HP doing it. I didn't even need to. I spent one. Do you see me? I'm too lazy to go and search for more shit. Now, we probably should have eaten that because that's effectively a tear delay that we just picked up. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, it feels like this stat uh, tracker on the left makes... So, like, makes it really obvious what items are things you should be picking up and what items aren't. Uh, our tier delay has not changed at all. The pact, I don't feel, has done very much for us at all this time. Whereas in the last game, uh, it did a ton. Like, getting the pact on the first floor got us to the last floor. Pretty much. Oh, fuck off. Daddy long legs, go to hell. Okay, yeah, you know what? I'll start that boss fight over again. That's, that's fair. That's good. I love, love this. Love that. Okay, good. He died. We picked up a nickel. We picked up a key. I'm not going back. Oh, good. Please, spawn a boss or three. That'd be great. I, I'm fucking ready for it. No? Okay, cool. Uh, double gems, huh? 
Okay, Double Gemini should be a relatively easy ask at this stage of the game with our current setup. Like, we have a very good setup, and if there's one thing that uh, Apollyon allows you to do, it allows you to very much curate how strong your run gets tiers-wise. I get the feeling that Apollyon's gameplay revolves around his tiers more than anything else. Like, if his tiers are good, then he's fine, right? And it's easy enough to get his tiers in a reasonable spot, because that's what his space bar item does. It just... You can get your tears in a reasonable spot. Now, eating the wrong item will still fuck you, as we found out in the previous uh, previous run. Oh, might as well. The miter. Yeah, sure, I'll pick it up. While well, I'm at it, though, give me another uh, key piece to fucking devour. I'd love that. Oh god, why did we run into that? That I saw myself doing that. Oh, that's not even our fire. Since when could he fucking spawn fires? Okay. Wiggle worm, huh? Okay. Let's just eat that. It gave us... Oh, right! Fuck, I'm an idiot. Uh, um, Go on downstairs. Pick up the thing. What does this one do? Strength? Pretty sweet. Look, we could still lose this because of my stupidity. It is entirely possible. Please. I understand I'm supposed to kill off the generators, but when there's like 15 other bad guys that are shooting at me and I need to shoot something to keep alive while dodging, hey, I'll do what I can. Walnut. It's probably better for us. As I understand it, Walnut breaks upon impact, drops some consumables or something like that. I don't remember. Like, it turns into... it does something. But apparently that's actually one of the few documented things about Afterbirth Plus so far. Okay. I'm doing some damage to him. Like, I had to just check for a second. If you don't mind my saying so. Uh, we could use Doctor's Remote to kind of speed things up if need be. But again, it's a pretty huge charge for it. That I'd like to save for the chest, if at all possible. Because if we get a really cool synergy right at the beginning, that would be awesome. Okay, come on. I've got my teeth a little bit clenched here, just because this is not the easiest Isaac fight you've ever seen. We're not ridiculously... Oh, fuck, we didn't get hit. Oh, we didn't get hit. What a time to be alive. Okay, just hammer into him. He should be going down. Don't move. <laughs> it worked. When in, when in doubt, don't move. It's like, the, ooh. When you're gonna get caught, just don't move, because at that point, you know, you're, if you're gonna get caught, then you're gonna get caught, right? All you're doing by moving is increasing the chances of you getting hit. Okay, we can still lose this, and I really don't want that to have happen. Please. Okay, that little flurry of fire mind at the end, by the way, is terrifying, and reminds me that your luck stat can get you killed. All right. Curse of the Lost. Does not do much to me. Rosary. Probably worth it. Butterbean, not so much. D20. Neat idea. Um, I think, honestly, that picking up the Rosary here is not the worst idea. So pick up the Rosary. Pick up the D20. Reroll the other chest. Does not work. Okay. Um, I think we consume the rest. Because the tears up from the Skinny Odd Mushroom does not help. Whoa, right? Fucking God damn it. Why do I keep forgetting that? That just cost us one of the HP we just picked up. Okay. Now, what we are looking to do here is not lose too much HP, pick up any at all items that drop off of the chest, and there should be a few because we have such a high luck stat. At 8, that's massive. It's the highest I've seen in a long time. I just need to actually make sure that that, you know, works out for us. And we have to survive long enough that the game decides, out of, you know, the goodness of its heart, to give us what we need. I mean, we do have what we need, but I would like some more. Is that so wrong? More? More? Oliver, Oliver, never a boy has wanted some more. Oliver, Oliver, just wait till he sees what we've got in store. There's a dark, deep, winding stairwell without a banister. We'll throw him down and freedom cockroaches served in a canister. Ma ha ha ha. That's from Oliver Twist, in case you had him, you know, guessed. Um, Jesus Christ. Like, the, I'm cornered. <laughs> there we go. Fuck. Um, I blame my dad for that one, to be honest with you. Okay, we've all, we're at a point now where there's three little Lokis in a room, and I'm not a fan. Give me all the tough love shots, all of the flame mine shots, like, just give me something to work with here damage-wise, okay? Any damage increase will do against these guys, because they're easy enough to dodge, that I'm not too worried about taking dumb damage. Also, triple little Loki, is that a room type that we've seen on the chest before? Also, where are my chests at? I've got eight luck, let me have some! I've earned it! Okay, 
Now would be the time to... No? Okay. That's fine. We managed to kill everything. Easy enough. Good stuff. Now come on out. There we go. Babe. What the fuck is this? Glaucoma. Blind Tears. I'm very confused. Is this like a proptosis thing? I forgot to take a look at the stats before we picked it up. I should have should have checked. Um, please, time to die, sir. There we go. Now time for this man to go down. Glaucoma. Blind Tears, huh? What does it do? Is it just like concussed him? Does it make them blind? Does it afflict blind? Okay, just keep dodging in between them like this. Good stuff. Fuck. I thought that I had that for a second there. We just took a ton of damage. Even more damage there. And Walnut has broken up into a fish head. Okay, that's fine. It's something at least. It's not like, you know, the best thing I've ever seen, but it'll do. And we didn't get hit by the second adversary charging us. So at this point, this should be an easy fight just because adversary on his own is usually reasonable. And then he spawns like a bunch of spiders and he surrounds you with them. Butterbean. Um. Two it on command, huh? You know what? No. We sort of got the doctor's remote off. Oh, God damn it. And then I panicked. And then I got hit. And then I got hit again. Please. Stop launching bombs. Stop launching bombs! For the love of God. Holy shit. Luckfoot. Yeah, that's great timing, bud. <laughs> Half hour interval here is pretty important. Um, let's look around and see if we can't find any more. I think I came from the left here. Yeah, I did. I can't believe that of all the rooms to give us trouble, that was the one to do it. Oh, God. Uh, I have not been here yet before, and it might cost us the game if we're not good about this. Fear shot here. Lovely. Lovely shit. Oh god! Ah! 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 No, don't, don't take that damage. No, sir, refuse that damage. Our luck up is ridiculous, though. Like, we've got a enough luck at this point that we're spewing fucking tooth shots every two seconds, which is great. Now, was it up from here? Up again? To the right? To the right. And up. Alright, we just have to beat Blue Baby in three and a half hits, effectively. Um, it's not a lot. I'll. Mind, I'll remind you, but that's okay. We still have like really good range, an incredible luck stat, which with a three dollar bill can be very powerful. Oh fuck, bad damage. Come on, concentrate for a little bit. You've died on the blue baby fight in situations like this before. It's happened. Oh, God. At least we have a half heart interval, so that gives us an edge in case the shit goes horribly wrong, which is about to. It's a fucking about to. Please. Thank you. We did it. Oh. Alright, so we unlocked Blue Baby. It was a little bit close because we're bad players, but overall, worked out well. Unlock Locus of Famine. Thank you everybody so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. If you did, be sure to let me know. Hit the like button down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.